So here's the basic problem with insulating this roof, this ceiling. We got four planes of elevation. There's one. Right there, that's the roof. There's two. That's the rib. Then it goes up here, about a quarter inch or so to this. That's three. And it goes up here to this beam. And that's four. So how are you going to insulate across four different planes? And what I've chosen to do is to push the one inch insulation up against this first plane here and then make cutouts. And then this, I'm going to have to drop some half inch in on. And uh, because I'm going to have to attach my paneling and the ceiling to this. So, my insulation can't really get any higher than that. If it does, then it'll be all lumpy. Can't have that. The other consideration would be to just fix all the insulation to this top plane right here. Just have it span across all of that. But then I have an inch, probably an inch and a quarter of dead space behind it in here and that's wasted space and adding an inch to from this plane and then another quarter inch or so for my paneling is just going to cut down my overhead height it's only 52 inches from the floor to this beam if i add an inch to it inch and a quarter that means i only get 50 and three quarter inches and you know there's little enough space headroom in this plane already so i have to do some very tedious cutting and fitting and uh, it's taken a long time so I need something to prevent thermal bridging from the beams across the ceiling these beams here if I were to leave them bare metal like that or painted metal and I put my roof panel and my ceiling panel up against it, there'd be no insulation between the metal and the, uh, and the paneling. So the material will conduct the cold from the outside. It will get cold from being in contact with the air outside. And then that cold will be conducted through the metal, through the roof, through the metal, and into your living space. So <clears throat> that's called thermal bridging where two um, substances join together and the cold is transferred from one to the other. We want to prevent that. So I'm using this stuff. It's called foam seal sill plate gasket. And it's really used to uh, separate your foundation from your wood sills when you're building a house. And that prevents thermal bridging. So if it works on a house, it should work in my van. We're gonna cut we're gonna cut some pieces out, glue them in, and see what happens. So this is just one example of the kind of detailed work I have to do to get some good insulation in here. And there's been a lot of that, like just little cracks down in here. I've had to slice some thin pieces and jam them in there. You can see up here. Come on, focus. Anyway, so uh, yeah, insulating is not fun. It's very, uh, and here what I did is I just took a, um, a two inch drill screw and um, used one of these brackets. I'm gonna have to cut this piece off because it's gonna be, it's gonna be gouging me. And the same thing down here, just to hold the, uh, uh, the insulation against the wall. But, you know, see all those little gaps and stuff back in here? Yeah, no fun. It's getting there little by little. I got this piece over here. I got to do some uh, filling in and such. Yeah, <laughs> but it's getting there. I got the wiring in. Wiring's all done. Here's my battery. Here's my um, my uh, fuse box. There's 
one of my receptacles up there and look fan is in and it works fantastic <laughs>